All right, Dick Allgaier, this one's for you. You seem a little stressed <laughs> on the last video, so let me help you out here. Uh, first thing, we're going to be looking at the DXY US dollar currency index and our next uh, target, quite honestly, and uh, major uh, resistance is going to be up here around 104.60, let's call it. And that's just a little over, you know, a half a percent to go. And the reason being, let's follow this red dash line over on the weekly. Uh, we, yeah, we have to go all the way back to, let me pull this in so you actually see it. See that fine green line running under there? Of course, that's the price right now. We have a, well, going back over here. Well, the last time we hit this area was around December 2002. But if we go here, we have a little uh, high pivot here, rejection. Uh, rejection consolidation got over it we tested it and then you know kept going and then came back bounced uh, this area up here of course was resistance came back bounced again so previous support will now be you know uh, future resistance so to speak so we're looking for at least a you know a stall here a pullback uh, in this uh, area plus we're on a real strong uh, time count here, but that's another story. And uh, so, yeah, we're looking for a, a possible hit up here, uh, pullback. And also a note, uh, the further you are from the 20, that is not where to be buying. You want to be buying, uh, for example, on this uh, weekly chart, in and around the 20, and then you're scaling out, selling, getting out uh, far and away from the 20. Okay, that's just a little hint there now if we hit uh this area pull back and then have a uh blow off top or run up for whatever reason uh the powers be you know uh start seeing it fall and then you know uh rev the engines up and, and get this thing running again this is how we come to uh basically uh you know uh, less than 17 dollars um uh, silver as you can see we've already broken this descending triangle and the measured move takes us you know to that point uh 618 fib and uh you know that's uh sub 17 dollars you know not saying we'll get there because we should get a bounce off this 200 uh since we are, we're coming from an extended price range we should get a you know a bounce here around 20 plus that's whole round even number psychological numbers so uh, yeah, looking for a bounce there. Plus, we have a strong time count uh, coming in here as well. So let me take you to uh, our uh, stocks here. And what I want you to notice, let's look at uh, Bitcoin first. And uh, from this uh, COVID slam down, this is what the reference point I want you to make. From the COVID slam down to the recent all-time high, as you notice, we're fairly above uh, you know, that 0.3 uh, fib, that orange line. That's what I want you to notice in all this, which is really not that bad, okay? And then the Dow Jones, uh, you know, definitely uh, above it, S&P 500. Not that we can't come down here. And matter of fact, the S uh, SPX, uh, S&P 500, if we break this zone, uh, what do I have here? 39,040, uh, let's call it. We break that area. <clears throat> area, yeah, we'll probably come down uh, into that uh, 200 uh, simple week uh, moving average at that time. And we have the NASDAQ, <clears throat> and it moves the quickest to the downside or the upside. And as you can see, we're on a real strong uh, time count now, and, uh, you know, still above that 0.3A, but not as high as the, you know, S&P 500 and the Dow Jones. And now, the average market pullback uh supposedly you know the, over the last i think 40 years that they tested it was around 36 percent which which would take us to the 0.5 fib and and the two 200 simple week moving average and then it takes an average of i think it was over 280 uh days to get <clears throat> you know back on track uh to where you know the markets were now it uh regarding your theta uh, concern. Uh, let me see if I can pull that up. Uh, what I want you to see here is from the March, you know, COVID slam down to the all-time high. 
you know, we're just over the 0.38. Uh, ADA on Coinbase, not looking that great. Uh, BCH, well below the 0.38. Ethereum is really strong. It's well above the 200 and the 0.38. Litecoin uh, down at the 0.618 uh, link, uh, 0.5. Algo uh, 0.5, Digibyte uh, around that, just under that 0.5 XLM, uh, 0.5 Fib, T Fuel uh, doing real well, still well above the 0.38 XRP, you know, hitting that 200 and the 0.5. Uh, but anyway, also, yeah, which <laughs> look at Shiba here, uh, yeah. Well, uh, a little bit of a time count coming in on the weekly here, being bought up a little bit, so we could maybe we get a pop there, and then Dogecoin uh, we're actually looking looking pretty uh, pretty good here, uh, you know, com in comparison to above the 200 uh, and above that 0.38. But anyway, just wanted to throw that out there to you, and then also another real important chart here. Let me go to the uh, March low here to the high and this is uh, that total to everything you know all the uh, market cap is you know excluding uh, Bitcoin and you know it's still well above the you know like Bitcoin above the 200 above the point uh, three eight fib so as far as market cap and I know all this is rigged and and you know uh, you can't really depend on any of these exchanges giving you know, true, honest numbers out there, but you know, we only have what we can, what we had to work with. And uh, anyway, so it's not really bad amount of money that has been pulled out so far. If we can, you know, use this as a halfway credible source here. But uh, all in all, you know, um, yeah, we could get, uh, you know, more slam down here. Everybody knows that. And let's go back to Bitcoin. And the reason why we say that is that uh, even on the daily, well, uh, these pivot areas about the last uh, resort, we've already have gone under them. And the next, uh, you know, maybe a little, besides that time count here, and maybe just a simple oversold bounce, we re really don't have any uh, uh, strong uh, support area uh, until we hit the 0 0.38 at 23. And then if we get... Under 25,000, they'll run it to the next lowest whole round even number, which is 20. And, of course, that 200 uh, simple week moving average hadn't been hit, you know, since the COVID uh, slam down deal. So that's what we're looking at. I uh, just want to bring that to your attention and have a good one.